Oh my god. Finally doing this again, aren't I? Stand review part two. King Crimson. I'm going to format these videos differently from now on. Instead of being in a public server, like giving all the movesets and stuff, I'm just going to straight up be in a private server. And then I'm going to show three, and three specific 1v1s with that. Um, I guess first we should just do it, um, I guess we just, mm, actually I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm going to just move on to its moveset. So, obviously you have, you know, your block, your run, all that stuff, that doesn't really matter, but. It has, you know, a standard barrage. Nothing special there. And then a heavy punch, nothing special there. But then we have its first and potentially best move the moment that anybody sings cream, King Crimson. So, this move used to work differently. It used to just, um, it used to just hit them once and then hit them twice away. But now, and it's a great combo extender too. One of the best in the game. You can realistically do this into anything if you want. You can do it into, I don't know, you can do it to counter if you, if you will, but that probably wouldn't work out to you. Here's a good, here's like a good mini combo right here. Right there, that was like 60 or so damage, just from three moves. And now we have its counter. Now this move can actually be pretty inconsistent at times. Sometimes, or a decent amount of time, it does work like it's supposed to. And it just, and it stuns them for like three seconds. But... There's times where you just straight up don't get stunned at all and you get punished for hitting your own counter. Now, Epitaph. Epitaph. Just prevents you from getting hit at all. This does stay until you enable it, but you hit your opponent. Or you try to hit your opponent. Only then will you not have the protection from it. Gotta wait five seconds and now um do that. <clears throat> huh. Um ow. Um Or maybe if it's just if I try to hit my opponent. Maybe if not if I actually successfully hit them. Because in one V or no, no, you have to press it, I think. I think you have to press it once more for it to disable. Yeah, see? Okay. So it worked that time. If you hit your opponent during it, then you can indeed get hurt by it. But, there's another function than just simply getting, or than just simply... Being able to avoid like a combo or something like that for five seconds. Say you're getting hit by him once. You can just do this. And this move has a lot more function than uh, you would probably think. You need to go ahead and get it up real fast. I guess I'm showcasing another move too during it. Um, so basically, this it's pretty self-explanatory what it does. It just teleports you behind the enemy. Yeah, it just straight up teleports you behind the enemy, and um, you know you impale them. But there is a way to avoid it, a very clever one at that. So you see these blocking dummies, right? So they're obviously, you know, a blocking state right now. <clears throat> um. So, there is a way to avoid it. And all you have to do is just turn around and block. See? Turn around and block and you can avoid it. 
Because how it works is, like, say you're right here. King Crimson will teleport right here and obviously impale you. But if you're, if you're, say, right here, like, if you're turned around, well, he's also, you know, the other way. You're completely safe from it. So, Casey overall is a pretty weird stand, I should add. It's not exactly, it's not exactly, you know, like super duper easy to use, but it's also very good. So I guess there's, um, nothing else to do now besides showcase some 1v1s. Okay. For once, music is actually disabled when I go into matchmaking. Very good. Anyways, three matches and then the video will be over. That's how it'll work for everyone. Normally I wait for these guys, but I actually like to get my, you know, video rolling. He's alive. He's alive. Eh, he called me a hacker. I'm not gonna respond at all. Hopefully he throws some knives. I'd love to be able to counter those. Come on, come on. Come on, you're the world. You should be able to throw some knives. You're Dio. He came right to me. He should be dead here. There we go. King, King Crimson is honestly just kind of the same combo over and over again. There's not really much variety you can do with it. Heh. <laughs> okay. Okay, well I guess that's one good way to, um... Yeah, I guess that's one good way. I will keep checking these settings every time. I don't want to get copyrighted again. Um, um, this guy's got sticky fingers, so. This guy's decent, actually. I will give that to him. I think I know. I didn't want to. Oh, I thought I could cancel that. Never mind. What? He'll die here. Okay. Whether I win or not, I'll still be doing these 1v1s. Or, I'll be th doing three of them in specific. Ah, dang. He, has, he does know what he's doing. Alright, auto combo time. Okay. 
Okay, that's one round. Or no, that's two rounds. There's two rounds down. One more to go. But yeah, you get the gist. King Crimson is really good when you can use it right. It's personally a stand that I have trouble fighting sometimes when you're like really good with it. Uh, hey, the Nubus. I can fight this counter? Counter for me? Ah uh, no, no counter. Thank you for the free epitaph meter. Bit of lag. Punishment time. Last round and I'll end up the video. These are probably going to be about 15, 20, maybe even 25 minutes each. This will be for every single stand in the game. I may honestly try to do it like once every day. Because at this point I'm on Christmas break and I have plenty of time on my hands. What are you doing? I think I heard him try to counter. I think I heard his counter sound. Ugh, I messed up there. Next will be GER, and then Sticky Fingers, Crazy Diamond. Oh, Killer Queen's actually going to be pretty hard to win with and stuff like that. I know it's not like a very competent stand. It's probably the least competent stand in 1v1s. This guy's got the spirit. That's so overpowered, dude. You can literally be invincible to you can literally be invincible to damage. Yeah, all at this. He might bleed. I think he's gonna bleed out here. I think he's gonna bleed out. Please do. Please do, sir. Never mind. There we go. Is three enough actually? Eh, eh, I'll do, you know what, no, I'll do four every video, I'll do four every video. <laughs> My god. This chat go bird. Oh, this guy's username is literally King Crimson. Er, oh, why couldn't have I just done three? Well, there's good counter potential, I guess, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much else I can do against this. I have to actively keep him away from me. Because he can just spam the E button. And once he does, he's got infinite armor. Okay, so I don't know what... There we go. See? Good counter potential. Alright, now up here. Okay. Okay, that works for me. That works for me, I guess. Anyways, this will be part two. Part three will probably record it tomorrow or even tonight if I feel like it. Hopefully, I can actually get some views.